Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video we're going to be, going to be doing the component installation for the Corsair 200R uh, mid-tower computer case, including a standard ATX motherboard and high-end air cooler. We'll also show you some benchmarks towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. So here we have the power supply installed into the Corsair 200R and you can see here that there's definitely still a little bit more room if you have a power supply that's a little bit longer you'd still be able to put that 120 or 140 millimeter fan into this bottom slot if you'd like. I've already run all the cables through the bottom uh, cable management hole here so that I can start routing them through the holes once the motherboard's in place. We now have the standard ATX motherboard mounted into the Corsair 200R and you'll notice that there is a very large Fontex dual tower heatsink in the uh, in the case and the side panel will go on with both fans on and and this large cooler in place so there's definitely room for these uh, larger air coolers in this case. We've also pre-routed a lot of our cabling so that we're ready to hook up our our GPU our front panel connectors are already hooked up, including the USB 3 and HD audio, and our 24 pin connector is run through the back behind the motherboard tray there and back in to connect up to the motherboard. Next, I installed the GPU simply by taking the two thumb screws out of the um, expansion slots here and pulling the two blanks out. Again, these are removable and they're also able to be reused if you move your cards around. I put the card into the PCI Express X16 slot and then connected up my PCI Express 6-bit connectors to this card. You can see here it's about an 11 and a half inch card and there's still a couple inches here for a longer card especially considering there's no space nothing going in this space here and the front 120 millimeter fan will blow air directly at the GPU. To install five and a quarter inch optical drives or a fan controller into the case first thing we have to do is pull the front bezel off. You do that by squeezing the six clips. There's two at the top, two roughly in the middle and two at the bottom to get the front bezel to pop off and then the blanks here pop out by pushing out from the ins inside of the front bezel. The blanks are reusable, so you can move your drives around if you decide to later on. You can put the front bezel back on and then slide your drive right in through the front of the case. Pull the little latch here to release it and then push the drive in until it clips into place, like so. So that is a completely toolless connection for putting the five and a quarter inch drives into this system. And then we'll connect up our SATA power and our SATA data cable as usual. For two and a half inch hard drives or SSDs, we've got four bays here. And all you have to do with these is simply take the drive and slide them into the drive bay and they're in place. You do have the option of screwing them down if you desire. Um, they're pretty secure so you don't really have to do that but if you want to screw them down and make them even tighter feel free. And then for three and a half inch drives it's the same, pretty much the same process. You take your hard drive here and slide it into the bay. There is a little clip here on the side so you want to pull that to release the tension and then you push the drive in until it clips into place and connect your SATA data and SATA power cables up to either drive as usual. So 
So here we have the completed component install for the Corsair 200R mid-tower computer case. You can see that the power um, light is in the power switch here and it's white and we also have a white hard drive indicator light that's flashing. Final thoughts on the case of course are that uh, it's very well made. You've got nice thick steel that doesn't bend. The paint job is quality and there's plenty of cable routing areas. The behind the motherboard tray could use a little bit more room for your cable management purposes but in this case it worked well enough um, and the side panel will go on easily even with all these cables back here. If you're not using all the hard drive bays you can use that to shove some extra cable in if you need to and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the full review at hightechlegion.com as well as subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Take care.